well only six months left for the ksat 2025 and it's not 180 days it's just 150 days 150 days but how because the worst part is you won't get these 180 days fully you also have to attend classes you may get sick you have board exams to prepare there are festivals and along with that you should also handle your mental pressure what type of mental pressure i will come back to it later in this video and i know what you are feeling i face the same things which you are facing right now because i have been through and i exactly know how to handle it and most of you are already feeling pressurized right and if not then wait you will so considering all this hardly you will get just 150 days and it's not 150 into 24 hours because you have to sleep you have to go to the classes you have to eat lunch dinner and if you cut all of that you will get less time but don't worry in this video i will give you the exact solution and by the way if you don't know me then i'm akash i'm a fourth year computer science student at ms ramaya bangalore so the first and the foremost thing which is very important is your routine you have to follow a fixed routine so that you will control every minute of your life and don't waste your much time and energy on other things so according to me you should be studying at least eight hours a day from now if you are really serious about getting a good rank in ksat and these eight hours do not include your schooling and your tuition hours it's purely your self-study and if you're not getting your time to study eight hours a day then you have to sacrifice your sleep and there is no need to sleep eight or nine hours just sleep six hours because sleeping eight hours is one third of your day like if i take this to the longer period for example if you live for 90 years then 30 years you will be sleeping right so sleep six hours and that's enough and write down all your pending topics a lot different times to the each topic work it on daily finish them and do revise and during my time i used to bunk my classes i mean 11th and 12th classes because we all know they won't teach much right that's why there are tuitions and extra coaching classes so i suggest you the same avoid the class if you have coaching classes then go for it else you can do self-study like me in the home and save your time so it's better to skip your classes and study by your own and if you need a dedicated video for the timetable to follow like which i used then you can comment below i can make a video on timetable and not just that i also managed all the four things like kct neat j mains and boards as well uh, so if you want i can make a separate video on it the next thing is say no to the people saying no to the relative functions in which you have to travel or which may take more than one day just say no for it and you know you have limited time right now your parents may force you to come to the function to come to the uh, relatives function as well but you have to say no if it's a festival for one to two days then okay celebrate it for example diwali dasara but don't involve too much because you have very less time and even i did the same my parents used to force me a lot but i used to say no and if you are single then that's good but if you are in a relationship then take a break from it until your exams get over and i know it's very hard to say no or to take a break for a long period but you have to do or if you have a confidence that you can manage both then do it and it's very hard to manage so it's better to take a break from it so that's what i did during my time so lock yourself in the room sit for three hours and study these three hours should be focused you should not get up to drink the water or go to the washroom do this before three hours and after these three hours you can take break and the break should not include watching instagram reels because that will give you a dopamine hit and you cannot study again because you may feel boring and the next important thing is read the important chapters you have to study these important chapters first because the questions from these chapters repeat a lot so do these things first and then go for the remaining topics and after completing it you have to revise it every sunday otherwise you will feel like you forgot everything and that may lower your confidence and after completing each chapter you have to solve its previous year questions or just give a mock test on that particular chapter or if you want you can also read the exemplar as well but that's not more important compared to the previous year questions but you can do that if you have time and the next thing which is most underrated one mental health nobody talks about it but it's very important i know there are many pressures on you like the family pressure a relative starts comparing you with someone in the family pressure of that friend who is doing better than you in some tests or your friends are up to date with the topics and they don't have any backlogs and the feeling that you are the only one who is left behind and there is a pressure of making your parents proud 
and if you are in a relationship you can add that pressure as well i know all of these things this pressure and stress will destroy your mental health therefore i started meditation and yoga during the morning and i suggest you to do the same it doesn't take much time just 20 to 30 minutes and you can also do some basic exercise like stretching and which will keep you energized throughout the day and there are other topics as well which i have already said in my other videos so i don't want to repeat the same thing again and again so you can watch this video for the other topics so at the end i just want to say believe in yourself don't lose hope and just believe this case it exam is the easiest exam in your life because what you believe you become so do subscribe if you feel this video was helpful for you and share with your friends who really need this to be listened and i'll see you in the next video bye